It was more than a friend, he was like a son to me. We shared many hours talking about issues, talking about faith, talking about life. I can tell you this from my conversations with him. He loved his AME church. Yes. He loved the church he pastored, Mother Emmanuel. As a matter of fact, he loved every church he ever pastored. Yes. I want you to understand that when hate abruptly ends the life of someone special, yes, it seems we quickly respond. It's our nature to come together, ignoring all that divides yes. and to repudiate hate. In times like these, we mourn the life that was so devalued in these senseless killings. But we make a point to affirm that all lives matter. Yes, right. If Senator Pinckney were here today, I, I think he would tell us that we're far too tolerant of, of watching people slowly and methodically die over years, decades, and generations. You know, folk are dying every day, yes. both physically and spiritually. Yes. Because of what we do and what we don't do in the state house and in our local communities, our policies and our legislation, our choices of leaders all work together sometimes to deprive the poor and minorities that just inherit of the opportunity for life more abundantly. And this suffering under the weight of institutional oppression was not lost on Senator King. He saw how structural subjugation of people not only took life, but how it somehow robbed people of hope. I believe that he grieved for them just as we grieve for him now. Yes. And he sought to end and ease their suffering. When too many were concerned about the social and moral stigma associated with HIV or AIDS, Senator Bindi was fighting for more state funding for medicine for those with HIV when far too many had been far too comfortable for far too long with poor people paying exorbitant rates to borrow a little piece of money. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Senator Pinkney advocated for four fair lending practice yes. and for payday institutions. When far too many people were interested in picking a political fight with our president rather than doing what is right for our people. All right. Senator Pinkney act actively sought to expand access to health care coverage for the poor and working families of our state. Yes, yes. When policymakers were seeking to erect barriers to government benefits, Senator Pinkney pushed through a program to allow poor families to get more fresh fruits and vegetables, to put more healthy food on the table. Yes, yes. When far too many found no shame in the corridor of shame. Senator Pinkney worked to increase educational funding for our children and poor and rural students. Yes. When folk tried to deprive us of our constitutional right to forge the kind of democracy that betters all citizens. Senator Pinkney stood strong against the peddlers of voter ID. When far too many people would have us to remain ignorant of the law and our rights, Senator Pinkney worked to empower folk with knowledge so that his people would not perish. When we were indifferent, he saw injustice. When we were weak, he was strong. 
His advocacy for the least of us reflected the best in us. His heart and compassion reflected his faith. Yes. And it was faith that he believed could unite us to do great things. Yes. If we want to remember Senator Payton, remember him when you're tempted to do what is politically expedient instead of what is right. Remember him. Remember him when you find it easier to criticize than to work constructively towards solutions. Yes. Remember him when you find yourself focused more on our differences than on what we have in common. Right. Remember him. Remember him. Do more than just remember him, but live to make sure that his life's legacy lives on. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Amen.